All right, so we are here with royalty, Elena Barra, the Shrimp Festival Queen for this year. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. We're excited for another great night of the festival. Yeah, so uh, tell me a little bit about uh, just being queen and uh, how you feel about it. So I have been waiting to reign over this festival for a long time. I actually competed back in 2019, sadly did not win, mm -hmm. and then came back two years later because COVID hit. We got crowned, COVID hit again. We rain, we've been going around Louisiana this whole year representing this great festival, and now we finally get to party it up in Delcom. So what does it mean to you to, to be queen of this festival? Well, I'm, I'm homegrown. I'm born and raised here, and I think I've, I've cried every day so far. <laughs> Happy tears. Happy tears. Just, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, I got to go to Washington, D.C. Oh, for wow. the Mardi Gras ball over there, and... To hear people scream for the Delcom Shrimp Festival Queen mm -hmm. when you think this is just a small town, nobody's yeah. going to really know, was unbelievable. It really took my breath away. Delcom going national. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fun. I, I mean, I can't imagine how it must feel, like you said, a little small town, small town girl over there in <laughs> Washington, D.C. And because I've seen, I know a few people who went as well to Washington, D.C. this year, and that looks, that looks really fun. Now, one thing I have to ask you about really quick, this beautiful shrimp sign behind us. I don't know how well you guys can see it. <laughs> Tell us about that. Who made it? So, that is the donation from the 70th Delcom Shrimp Festival Royalty. I started working on it around April of this year, and I got in touch with the high school woodworking class at Delcom High School. They graciously agreed to make it for us, so that was like their senior project. Then I got in touch with local artists with, that have a connection to the festival or a connection to Delcom. The S and the H were done by a pasture and festival queen, Blair Blanchard. The R is by Lexi Renard, a local artist. The M is by Jessica Tucci, another local artist. And the P is by Cassie Duyon, a teacher at the Delcom Elementary. Everything's That's local. All. I know. I love that. I was just about to say, it's yep. all made by local artists. That is so special. And then, of course, you can go and stand in place of the eye in shrimp. So anyone can go and take a pic. Anyone can go and take a picture with that. Absolutely. They'll be down on the grounds, either under the pavilion or in the grass. Fun, fun. The kids are going to love that, you guys. And speaking of different fun things going on, what are some of the other activities happening besides the food and the music, of course? What else we have going on? So we've been joking that tonight we got the three J's. We have Jamie Badger on, Jared Lane, Junior, and something sneaky. We also have a cook-off tomorrow morning, bright and early. We have a shrimp eating and peeling cook-off with a bunch of Louisiana Festival Queens that I've invited to the mm -hmm. festival. Sunday, we have the Blessing of the Fleet Mass that it's eager. Everybody's been waiting for that to come back. It's a great tra tradition that sets this festival apart from a lot of other festivals. Yeah, there's just nothing like a girl that can peel her own shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys get out here this weekend. Everything is starting tonight at 6.30. Of course, it has been going on the past couple days, but kicks off again tonight at 6.30, then restarts again tomorrow morning at 9 and ends, sadly, at 4 p.m. on Sunday. We will have more in-depth details of the schedule later on the show. We'll be right back after the break.